Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the start line by an award-winning journalist with Polk, Emmy, Peabody, OPCA, and DuPont Awards in her collection of accolades. Her memoir, No Ordinary Assignment, is now out. We welcome author Jane Ferguson. Hi, Sean. Jane, let's go beyond the mic. This book came out of the many choices you had early in your life, some of them painful, some triumphant. What was the one key moment that may not have made it in the book, but through the butterfly effect, may have had a deeper impact after you finished writing the entire book? Ooh, that's a good question. I would say one of the, th- there's very little I haven't put in the book. This book is incredibly uh, honest and raw and intimate. I, I share pretty much everything in there. I would say that there were a few moments which didn't quite make it in where um, after college, when I'm living in Dubai and um, I'm bouncing around desperately trying to find a, a job in, in foreign correspondency as a, uh, as a, you know, as anything, I'll do anything at all. Um, and it's post financial crisis in, in the United States and well, basically in, in the whole world by that stage. And so you know, we had a lot of news organizations that were running absolutely broke. And so I would say some of the some of the work that didn't make it in there were some pretty, uh, pretty hairy trips that I took freelancing for CNN in places like South Sudan and 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 several trips to Somalia, where I'm basically covering the conflict in Mogadishu. And um, and there's 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 a there's a lot of, of pretty hilarious moments where I really don't quite know what I'm doing, but eventually I do make it on make it on air and, and, and sell my pieces. But, you know, I mean, a lot of that ends up getting getting cut from the book because there's such a strict uh, word count. But I would say it was really in those moments that for the first time in my career, I was actually doing the work. I'm running around. A filming combat, and I'm actually finding that I'm able to do it. And I think that was a moment where I, you know, I really, really felt like I had to be honest with myself. If I wasn't able to do it, if I'd been too scared, I would have to quit because you just can't fake it. So th- th- that was a real moment for me in Mogadishu where I realized that that I could do this work and that that everything I'd planned since I was a little girl might just work out. You didn't chase the traditional story. Your story in itself isn't traditional. Why is a story everyone else isn't telling the best one? I think it's, I've always tried to be additive. I, I want to be of use and I don't want, you know, and, and so there are stories that everybody's telling that are important. Like look at Ukraine right now. I mean, it's hard to think of, of a more geopolitically, uh, you know, substantive story right now in the world, but there are thousands and thousands of journalists there. No one is in Sudan, you know, and uh, and I just so I try to be additive. I try to make my work something that's actually gonna going to uh, you know um, add something and open people's eyes to to the wider world. I also think broadly, certainly when I was coming up, and it's getting a lot better now, but there was a chasing of the bang bang, you know, where we just want combat footage. And I spent more and more time in conflict zones. I started to realize, you know, the broader effects of of conflict, whether it's on soldiers or on uh, civilian communities, it, it's it's so much wider than casualty rates in the field. So that's what interested me as well. I'm much more likely to be talking about, you know, the economic impacts on people, societal impacts, you know, what what this is actually doing to a country. The book is No Ordinary Assignment and journalist, award-winning journalist, Jane Ferguson joins us beyond the mic for The Rocky Nate. All this is, Jane, is eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Okay. Best memory from your time on the sailing team at the University of York? Ooh, uh, throwing parties. I was the social secretary. Who doesn't love throwing parties? How about your favorite food from your travels from around the world? Hands down, lamb kebabs in the street in Kabul. Best place on the Princeton University campus since you're returning back as a visiting professor? The patio just outside Henry House, where I teach. One thing about your husband, Charlie, that drives you crazy? He insists on doing the dishes. No matter what. Just let him do the dishes. What position did you play in field hockey? Right wing. How about the one thing you search for at a farmer's market? Ooh, um, really good quality grass-fed beef. What was the favorite moment of your time at Lawrenceville? 
winning the all <laughs> winning the New Jersey All State Championship in field hockey. What's the one place you need to visit that you haven't done before? There are millions, but I would say Japan. It's time for the back half with Jane Ferguson, author of No Ordinary Assignment Beyond Mike. Looking back on your amazing career, do you think that any other hillbilly would have survived the experiences you have? I think many of them would, and I think more of them should be war reporters. You wrote, Fortune favors the brave on a piece of paper, taped it above your desk. What's the phrase you'd tape above your desk right now? Same. Keep going. Fortune does favor the bold. (laughs) You had a moment, like many others have, of... What the hell am I doing? How has your wanderlust help you find what you need and keep you moving forward? I once met a Syrian refugee who managed to survive an extraordinary experience and thrive as a refugee in another country. And I asked him that question and he said to me, I trust myself. So I try to follow that as closely as I can. I trust myself. It's time for One Big Question with Jane Ferguson, award-winning journalist, author of the memoir, No Ordinary Assignment Beyond Mike. Jane, you've seen many things in your world, some good, some bad. What's the one nightmare you can't get rid of from your travels abroad? I'm lucky that there's nothing that I've never, ever managed to get rid of, but I would say the fall of Kabul stayed with me a very long time, and I did have nightmares for a long, long time of standing outside the Abbey Gate and outside uh, the airport where tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people were desperately asking me for help. Jane, why should people read No Ordinary Assignment? It is unlike any other memoir by a journalist. It tells you not about a career, but about a person, the person behind the news, what it takes to do this kind of work. And it repays you for your time by giving you full, full honesty. Her husband has to do the dishes, loves grass-fed beef, and she wants you to read her memoir. No ordinary assignment. War correspondent and author, Jane Ferguson. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic shortcut.